Hi, this is Andrew from Telling to Listen Along. Welcome to our demo IRI point of sale. IRI is integrated with application for our retail solution. For this presentation and demonstration, we will show you how IRI point of sale handles the promotion modules, what we call bonus buy or usually retailer call purchase with purchase. I will show you two scenarios for this presentation. The first one is um, I buy one, uh, buy two items, sorry, and I will get one item for free. And then another one, if a customer buy what white cattle time for minimum one million transaction, and you will get the free vouchers, uh, one hundred thousand. So we will start the demonstration before we. Can use the sales module. You have to log in to IRI Point of Sale. You can log in using your password, or you can also use um, device uh, fingerprint device. So you can use fingerprint to log in to our IRI modules. Again, our IRI retail solution actually consists of several modules from sales the inventory management transaction, physical inventory, and also loyalty, which is our memberships. And also, we provide some reports, so your stores people can generate their own reports uh, without having to wait, in, uh, wait for the head office to print out and distribute the reports. So, uh, we will start the sales modules to show you how um, the bonus buy will um, a logic will work. On the first scenario, we will show you how we um, buy two items, and then basically we will give you three items. You can enter the uh, EIN or the barcode, and then or you can scan also the barcode, and the system will automatically give you one item, one quantity as a default. As you see, the system is uh, will not propose you or give you uh, info about the promotion because of it hasn't reached the uh, minimum quantity. So if you edit the quantity and you are entitled to get another free item, the system will automatically pop up to remind you. And if you agree to receive this, and then uh, you just key in the uh, item. The bonus item and the system will check whether the bonus item is according to the rules because sometimes uh, users type the wrong uh, items and then you, you cannot uh, input the item. So the system makes sure that you key in the bonus item accordingly. So if, uh, if the bonus item match the rule, then it will automatically tell you that you are entitled for this item for one quantity because you can also set up any quantity as a bonus. In this case, if we confirm the quantity for the bonus, the system will split the lines and tell you that this is the bonus item, so the amount will be zero. Uh, let us also continue to the next scenario. If uh, we buy one million rupiah for a specific item, and then we will get a free voucher. For this example, I just use this um, code for the white catalog uh, pane. So we entered the transaction. Uh, but since the price is only uh, 90,100 uh, Indonesian rupiah, uh, so it hasn't reached 1 million rupiah. Even if I add it into 5 items, then still. It's not enough because it's only 450,000. You can also keep in as a separate line. The system will calculate all the logics whether you keep in at the same line on the quantity or you split into different lines. So in this example, total we already buy uh, six items and then it's only 500 over. So if I, let's say I uh, put six items that proves. Uh, and then still it's not rich because it's only 990,000 over. So we have to buy 
twelve item in order to reach minimum one million rupiah. Then if you can see this, the system will automatically give you that. I will tell you that uh, you are entitled because uh, to get one features. And if you choose the uh, promotion, then you can key in the features as a, a code, the poster that you are entitled, and we, we use the poster code as the features. You can use any code actually for the bonus uh, item. Then you are entitled to get one poster. You can also set up again if you are entitled for two posters. If after that, then it will again show you that the posters will be split into two rows. Uh, if you look at this uh, transaction, uh, we also uh, record all the promotion related to the item. If you look at this on the remark, it will tell you that on the first line, uh, the system record that this is the one that uh, attached to promotion number one and also this one is number one. This line is the prerequisite and this one is the target item and also another one, this one is a promotion number two, promotion number two as a prerequisite and this is a promotion number two but this one has a target bonus. Uh, we hope uh, this demo can show you how I think point of self can handle the uh, bonus by or the promotion. Uh, with this presentation also we would like to show you a little bit on how you set up the promotion because uh, the promotion or the bonus buy will be set up at the head office and then we will schedule uh, the interface to download and the store people to get the promotion set up from the head office. So we'll show you how we set up this two promotion. Okay, this is the bonus buy screen. We will show you how the first rule has been set up. So when we the rule is by two semans and you will get another one semen for free. Okay, our bonus buy can set up uh, can be set up uh, with uh, a lot of scenario. It really depends on your needs. First, we have a validity date. We can validate the bonus buy for specific dates. We can also uh, activate based on a specific uh, days because you have a promotion for all years, but it's only available on Monday. Or you can also set up for specific time span. Let's say after um, 5 p.m. or after 7 p.m. you will do the promotion. Okay, then first of all, we have a prerequisite also because uh, first the prerequisite to activate the promotion is based on the time, either the date, the day, and also the time. And then you can also activate the promotion based on specific stores. So when you set up a promotion, you can set up and choose for specific stores only. It depends on your requirement. And also the prerequisite. Uh, we will show you how the prerequisite works. The prerequisite means the article in this scenario. Because if you buy this article, then for, for two pieces at least, so you will entitle for the bonus. So for this setup, you have to key in the article code in this scenario because it's only article one article setup. Then it's only one article that you key in here. But you can also key in different article based on the article code or the barcode, or you can key in also based on the category, department, class, or category, article type, brand, color, on whatever item characteristic you has on your systems. Let's say. If I activate by brand, let's say I have a promotion by specific brand, so I can choose the brand level and then I can just select the brand level. Means whatever brand I sell for minimum two items, then it will entitle for the bonus. And so we can combine the article and the style and also it, whatever you really want here. 
let's say you have a special uh, promotion for specific colors so you can set up the colors let's say for specific dates red color and you can also combine with the brand so you have a specific brand and specific colors then the system will check for these two both scenario so from this screen you can see how many uh, combination that we can set up to make as a prerequisite of the promotion because before it can activate and after you set up the prerequisite you can also set up the condition target the condition target means after the customer uh, reach the prerequisite then what item is entitled for them to get for this scenario again since we are using the same item so we just key in the item here and the numbers of bonus item is one because you only want to give them one item but if you want to give them more than one item you just key in here then the system will check whether the item is already rich your uh, rules or uh, hasn't reached uh, rules again as a prerequisite you can combine all the item characteristic here also on the bonus you can combine item characteristic so if you have a promotion such as if you buy one sh pair of shoes in the prerequisite and then you can give them one pair of socks then you can set up maybe on the class level then you just say this is a sock you want to give them the sock so uh, things like this uh, can be set up to make it to make you easier to make a combination for this scenario you can see that the condition target is actually has been set up for fixed price which is zero price why because we will give a uh, we will give the uh, bonus item as a free item but sometimes you want to set up like by two men and then you you are entitled to get another one for 50 percent discount so you can set up the percentage discount become 50 percent here um if you want to combine also the promotion modules with other things such as how they pay then we also have the payment group combination for the promotion let's say this promotion is only entitled if you pay by cash so you can select cash method as a, your payment group then the point of sale will detect only when you pay by cash and this bonus buy will uh, only entitled when you do that and also in our IRIP point of sale we also have a membership and we can set up a different group of membership in our system let's say you have a platinum member you have a silver member or you have a regular member then you can also set up the link between this promotion to a specific member group let's say i have a member group for uh, this promotion i just want to give to my privilege membership then you can choose also here so if you look at on the setup here for our uh, uh, promotion uh, scenario solution it's quite quite complex because again you can combine with the time with the item which is the item itself it's really a combination of uh, so many characteristic item and also you can combine based on the payment and also with the membership group I hope uh, this presentation can give you some understanding on our IRIP POS uh, features and you have uh, thank you for listening uh, to our demonstration.